And we are back for part 4 of the God of War Chains of Olympus God Mode walkthrough. Not going to be too much commentary in this video. There's oh, quite a bit happens. Not story wise, but like action wise. But you guys should be able to just watch me do it and figure out how I did it right. Just not really feeling up for the commentary today. Kind of tired, haven't slept well the past few days. But I want to get a video out. So yeah. But there are a couple of points where I, I will be talking, but not too much. So I will shut up and let you enjoy the game.
Right here, this is where we get Zeus's gauntlet, gauntlet of Zeus, whatever you want to call it. Now this is one part of the game that always just like confuses me. I guess since it's a godly weapon, it doesn't really obey the laws of, you know, mortal physics and stuff like that. You'll see what I mean in a minute. This part kind of gave me a little bit of trouble. But then I was just like, oh yeah, I forgot that the Sun Shield can deflect their attacks and all that. Cut your damn head off. Grab me a shiny gauntlet. Pull him down. And you see how it's like Kratos, like the size of Kratos right now. Well, when he picks it up, it's just this, it's it's smaller than his arm. I guess it like shrinks to fit the user or whatever. I don't know. But with it, you can break through these guys' shields no problem. One charged punch and you're good. And uh, there's a parry for it, so you don't have to worry about that. I think uh, I don't know if you got upgraded or not to get, unlock the parry. I don't think so. Nope. As long as the sun shield itself is upgraded. Alright, and the rest is just me dominating these guys. So, I'll well, see you near the end of the video, actually.
Kratos saw before him the remnants of the old rulers of Earth, the mighty Titans. Defeated by the gods and enchained in the depths of Tartarus, they suffered their unjust penance. And for their torment, it was well known that these immortal beings hated the Olympians with immeasurable fury.
By the hands of Zeus, the Titans had been bound and shackled in their torment for a thousand years, with no hope of escape. Now the chains that once held the Titan Atlas lay broken, and only one question plagued the thoughts of Kratos. Who will release such evil?
Alright, so it's time for a rematch with this motherfucker. Now in God mode, that gate hardly gives you any you health. Again. The walls of Tartarus would not hold Atlas, and they would not hold me either. The gods have obviously taken pity on their slaves. You underestimate me, Charon. This time I will not be so merciful. Yeah, like I said, that gate in the, uh, I'll explain why my health is so much, uh, more. And the, in any other difficulty, well, maybe not hard, might not give you as much, but like in normal and easy, that gate will fill your health and magic completely. In god mode, it barely gives you anything. The reason my health is so much more full right now, though, is because when you die in this game, like, quite a few times in a row, it gives you more health, kind of, like, help you out. So that's why... I have so much more health because he because with the amount of health I had I could I couldn't uh, what do you call it I couldn't beat him like he could he literally would kill me in just like one little tap and I'd be dead it's funny I've, after playing through three games on God mode I went and played through uh, one of them on easy mode and I cut I beat it in less than like two hours literally I, d I didn't play through it flawlessly but yeah I beat it in under two hours it was crazy how much easier it was Now, right, so this is a pretty straightforward fight in the beginning, but then he switches it up by using his damn mask. And that thing will tear you up in this mode. I don't really know if there's like a point in which he will stop. I was trying to figure that out, but... My best advice is just keep wailing on him. If you see him about to swing his scythe, you're good. He won't use his mask. But that mask power, it sucks great when, you know, you're using it. Not so great when he's using it on you. No, 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 no. None of that. None of that. And yes, he will kill you again if he manages to refill his health all the way while standing on top of those pillars. Alright, so now this is a pretty simple pattern to be able to figure out. He'll attack twice with not that far reaching circles, and then he'll go in the middle and do a very long, uh, you know, a whole area reaching circle. Charon Smash. Charon Super Smash. Right now I beat you in the face. Kratos is a pretty violent guy. We gotta give it to him. I don't think... Uh, I don't know if I will or not, but I don't believe I'll be playing through Ascension on God mode. Yeah, it's just... I don't really think it's gonna happen. I was having a hard enough time playing through it on normal, let alone playing through it on hard. With these ones, like it's a challenge to play through them on God mode because, or Titan, or Chaos, whatever it's going to be for the game. Because I know the mechanics pretty well. It's just the challenge of doing, the, of completing the task, you know. With Ascension, I don't barely even know the mechanics. Kind of why I'm afraid of the new God of War game. I'm afraid it's going to be really different mechanic-wise. I'm sure it will be, but I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, so this is the final part of the fight. I recommend just... Yeah, you could... You can... Yeah, there's a couple of different things you could do. Just hit him with Light of Dawn or reflect his attacks back at him. Either one works. And then you kill him. Alright, sweet. Having defeated Charon, 
Kratos journeyed deeper into Hades and closer to his goal. For in the distance, the bright light of Helios illuminated all of the underworld. But something on the shore caught his attention. And to Kratos, it almost seemed an apparition. Calliope! Upon seeing his daughter, Kratos realized that all that he had been working for, all that he had wanted, was within reach. Years of service to the gods had not delivered him from his pain, never had it eased the burden of his past. And now, Calliope was found. Calliope! All right, so as you saw, Kratos' daughter is here. Makes sense, you know, because he killed her and all that. Anyway, now we get Charon's mask, and with it, Charon's wrath. That wasn't a very clean cut, I apologize. I try to make the cuts as seamless as I can, but it just does not work out sometimes. This part gave me a little bit of trouble too, just because of all these satyrs. But, like every other foe, they will fall. And you have infinite magic here, I don't know why I'm not just spamming Charon's Wrath in the one place where they give you infinite magic. Ah, the hindsight of things, you know? There we go. Another awkward cut, but... I at least wanted to show me upgrading this thing all the way. And not just me, boom, having it, you know. Kind of awkward right there, I apologize again. But this video is over. I thank you all for watching. Stick around for the finale of God of War Chains of Olympus God Mode.